Hello, it's Amelia Renee and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a review on products provided by Diva by Cindy. Isn't it cute? Came in this little bag. So I have the shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and some curling cream. I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve these curls. So if you wanna see how I got them, keep watching. The moisture shampoo is sulfate free, it's alcohol free, and it's infused with argan oil and green tea. This shampoo is so moisturizing. Just like the name Moisture Shampoo, it does not dry your hair at all. After rinsing the shampoo out, I go straight to the stimulating conditioner. I really love this conditioner. The smell of the mint in this conditioner is so strong and I love the way it smells. Oops, and of course it wouldn't be me if I didn't waste or drop something. I'm so clumsy. Now I'm back, this is my hair freshly washed and conditioned without any product in it. Now I'm going to apply Diva by Cindy Leave-In Detangling Conditioner to my hair, section by section. The last product I'll be using is Curl Pop Curl Hydration. This felt so good when I was applying it to my hair. Nice and lightweight. Also it says it's great for all hair types. It also can be used to define curls, for twists, and to reactivate curls. As you can see, I'm doing single two strand twists all over my head. It took me about two and a half hours to finish my hair. I did not expect it to take that long. I haven't worn my hair in two strand twists since maybe the first year or so when I was natural. My hair was so much shorter and it didn't take that long. Even though the process was longer than I expected, I loved the end results and the products worked amazing for my hair type. I'm done twisting the front of my head. Now I'm going to show you how I part the back of my hair. So this is how I part my hair with any hairstyle that I do. Protective styles or whatever I do. I don't look. I just use my fingers and my comb. I know a lot of people were asking me in, in all my videos, my passion twists or braid videos. But this is how I part my hair. Honestly, I really don't care about how the back looks because I can't see it. So I could care less what other people see. I don't know if that makes sense. So it's no method to how I part my hair whenever I'm doing any style. I just use my fingers and my comb and let it guide me through. This is the finished look. While I do love my hair and I like the way my hair feels, this hairstyle was giving me Lorenz Tate and Inkwell vibes, if you know what I'm talking about, but it's fine. A little impromptu lift check. I wish my twist didn't shrink up that much, but it's fine.
These are my twists. Six days later, get ready to unravel them. Let's see what it's gonna do. This is my hair unraveled. I didn't even pluck it. I don't think I'm going to do any picking. I just add a little edge control. I don't even think I'm gonna pick it too much because I like, I like it. I'm just lightly picking my root, give it some value. Oh yeah. So I went around for the week looking like Inkwell and came out looking cute. And I think I might do that more often. I love these results, so I think this might be a good easy hairstyle for me for the summer. Wear my twist for the week and on the weekend, I drag them. My hair still feels great, moisturized. These the curls are so defined, it is giving me everything I want. Inkwell. That turned out nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.